Hi, this is Vijay Patha and Dominic Ko from Brigham Young University, Hawaii. We are presenting you a video tutorial from Journal of Accountancy uh, titled The Automated Spreadsheet. Hello, this is an alert from your spreadsheet. Call your office as soon as possible. This article was authored by Anna M. Rose and Jacob M. Rose in April 2001. The purpose of this video is to uh, help us set up or automate our Excel sheet to track or monitor changes in stock market and other uh, data in network databases. And we will also uh, show you how to set up an email alert system in an Excel sheet. In order to do so, we will be using uh, a data ribbon and, and the functions that exist in it, such as existing connections, properties, and data connections. In order to do so, let's, let's uh, use our Excel. Uh, we will set up our Excel sheet in the following manner. Let's name our first uh, worksheet as trading stock and then the second uh, worksheet as web query. Now that's very simple. And now we will uh, ins choose the data that we need. Okay, this is the data we want. Uh, so here uh, we see these are the stock mark, uh, stocks of different companies that we want to track the information of. And and these are the number of uh, shares that we purchased with this price and uh, and this is a total total market cost okay this minimum price here uh, we, we set up that one so that the Excel can identify uh, a minimum price below which if the if the price goes below $30 then we will receive an email alert okay now I'll go forward and show you how to set, uh, automate this uh, this worksheet Okay, before we do that, let's just delete this information and we will just get a live information from, from, from the website itself. Okay, now let's go to web query. Um, after, after going there, uh, go to data ribbon and choose existing connections. In that existing connections, choose MSN Money Central Investor Stock uh, Course. Okay, this, from this link, we, uh, the Excel will retrieve data from the website uh, for the stocks that we're looking for. And then after saying that, say OK. And now uh, type in uh, the stocks that you're looking for. MSFT represents Google, uh, Microsoft, Google, and then we are looking for Coca Cola as well as Intel Corporation, INTC. OK. So now the Excel will retrieve data from, uh, from the website, and that's how we see it. OK. Now let's go um, uh, uh, set up some properties for this data. Okay, now this particular ribbon will show us like how many how many minutes do we want uh, our data to be refreshed. So we choose 30 minutes, and we also choose refresh data whenever we open the Excel file. And after choosing those two, say OK, and now go back to this uh, connections, where you will uh, click on properties, and you see the same information that we saw earlier, and then go back to the definition of it, and click on parameter tab uh, button and let's choose uh, get the value from the following chart okay after click on that and then go to your trading stock worksheet and choose the four companies that we are tracking the information for after doing so say okay and close all the windows um, that we that we open okay and that's the uh, basic setup uh, for the first part of our video tutorial that is setting up uh, your Excel sheet to retrieve data, a uh, live data from a website. Okay, and now we will show you how to set up this Excel sheet um, to set up an email account so that you will receive alerts whenever uh, the whenever the price of your stock goes down below thirty dollars. And so right now we want to enter the market price based on the information that's pulled out from the MSN website. And so we'll go to Microsoft Corporation and click equal. Go to the web query worksheet and click on the Microsoft Corp last price and we'll click enter. And then we'll drag the other price stock prices for the different corporations as mentioned. After doing that we will want to set up a program that will help us to relate it to the Visual Basic and so 
In this situation, we will use Microsoft Corporation as an example. Let's say if we notice that the market price was less than the minimum price of 30, then we are able to set up a program that will allow us to receive an email alert that will be sent to our email. And so to do that, we'll click in alternate F11, which will bring us to the Microsoft Visual Basic program. And then from there, we can set up the Visual Basic language to set up this e alert email. To start off, we'll click on And so we'll go to sheet 1 as over here and we'll copy this information that we have typed to come up with the Visual Basic Language. We'll copy and paste it into sheet 1. And this is just telling Excel, it's a program of Visual Basic where we can see over here that in this situation, if the market price for Microsoft Corporation is it's less than the minimum price of $30, which is the range of J5, we will want the email to be sent to the email that we have typed over here and if you want to do that you have to change it to your email account to send it to your email what it means that this page this visual basic is going to tell Excel to send this email alert to your respective email and as you can see, here is the subject that will appear on your email. And this is the body that will appear on your email that has the price of the range that you have set earlier on. And once Excel has sent that email, you can see in the Excel spreadsheet under the trading trading stock tab that your mail has changed to a stop mail word. The other part to it of Visual Basic is that we will click on this workbook. We will copy the formula, paste it here. This is actually telling Excel that when the workbook is open, range I5 will be shown as mail. And that's to it about the Visual Basic. And now let's have a test and see if it really works or not. So we'll click on the run and run sub. And then this, from Outlook, you can see that your email address is listed over here. And after 15 seconds, this email will automatically send to this email that you had put it into your Visual Basic. Okay, I think time is up and then we can check this email and to see if you have received the email alert about the stock price. Okay, here is it where I log into the account and by clicking over here we can see that this is the email that we have entered into the Visual Basic program and the recipient is the same as what we have written as our email address and so it's successfully being sent to our email and when we go back to the Excel spreadsheet under trading stock, we can see here that the mail has changed to stop mail to once again show that
the email alert has been sent to our email that is desired. And so that is all for doing an automated spreadsheet and that's all for our presentation. Thank you.